the objective is we have a we have a national battle going on, a battle about what's right in America, what's wrong in America, and you know it's just like the founders, the the the, the can of liberty has always been kept burning by a vigilant few. This is about information. This is about defense of SB 1070 on the way to the Supreme Court, similar to the employer sanctions bill I wrote, which we just won. In 2010, a huge Supreme Court decision, 5-3, it's really about states' rights as much as anything else. Arizona has a right, has their constitutional police powers to defend its citizens, protect its citizens. Not only a right, like Judge Roberts said, we have an obligation. It goes beyond a right. We have an obligation to protect our citizens from those who break our laws. And that's what it's about, information. You can't, you can't fight a battle unless you're informed. Filled in before for you know short segments with other hosts in, in the past and, and hosted their shows, but it'll be different. It'll be fun. I hope. I hope it's informative. I hope we're we're engaged in a very meaningful way. I look forward to it. I think we're going to have a great time again, talking about the things that need you know that are good about America, not just the negatives. What's good about America and the changes we've made. Arizona has changed the debate in Washington D.C. Arizona, little old Arizona. And I'm grateful to have been in the front of that parade on almost all those issues. So I look forward to furthering that, to engage 34 states writing legislation modeled after SB 1070. Georgia, South Carolina, Alabama have passed such legislation. And look at the results there. It is obvious you can't deny the nexus between enforcement and the impact on crime and the savings to the taxpayers and all that goes with the enforcement of the law. It's a wonderful thing. My wife. Uh, uh, just came to me the other day, and she said, "Russell, don't take any more jobs. You can't. You, you can't. You can't take any more jobs. You, d you need to spend a little time with the family." So, I in a fun way, my wife's very supportive, and it's true. I'm not. I'm not retired. I don't play golf. I have a mission, and that mission drives me. I always has since a little boy. I love this republic, and anything I can do to help this party. And the reason I, I'm a Republican is because I believe it's the greatest chance for promoting and preserving freedom in the United States. It's a perfect no, but it is a party that I love because I think it embo embodies those principles I love. Limited government, pro-family, pro-life, uh, lower taxes, all the things that I think are critical that our founders put in place in this republic. So I'm excited to play a part in that, to grow this party in a conservative, appropriate way to make America a stronger